Oh, hi, Jenny. How are you? Okay. Dream? Motivations? Yeah, I also had a dream, and it motivates me in my life. Oh, by the way, we already talked about dreams that motivate us in our life. I'm gonna read a short story teach us the power of, power of our dreams motivate us in our life. The title of this story is the island of inventions so the first time luca heard talk of the island of inventions he was still very young but the wonders he heard about the sun that so incredible to him that they were forever engraved in his memory ever since he was a little boy he never stopped searching for clues to investigate clues which might lead him to the place of wonder. He read a hundreds of adventurous books, histories, volumes of physics and chemistry, even music. Taking a little from here, a little from there, he arrived at quite a clear idea of what the island of inventions was really like. It was a secret place where all the great wise men of the world would meet to learn and invent together. Access to the island was totally restricted. To be able to join the select club, you have to be in created some great invention for humanity. Only that could you receive the unique and special invitation, which also came with instructions on how to get to the island. To be in a chance, Luca spent the year of his youth studying and inventing. Every new idea he got, he made it into an invention. And if there were every, ever anything he didn't understand, he would seek out someone who could help him. Soon, he met other young people, brilliant inventors too. And he told them of the secrets and marvels of the island of inventions. These fellow young investor, inventors would likewise dream of being sent the letter which is how the invitation was referred to. As the time passed, the disappointment of not being sent the letter gave rise to even greater collaboration and mutual help between the young inventors. Their interesting individual inventions were put together creating some incredible contraptions they met in Luca's house, which end up looking like a huge warehouse for machines and spare parts. Their inventions become known throughout the world and manage to improve every aspect of life. But even after all of that, no invitation came. They did not lose heart. They continue learning and inventing every day trying to come up with more and better idea. Fresh young talented was added to their group as more and more inventors dreams of getting to the island. One day a long time later, Luca already very old was speaking with a brilliant young man who had written to him to try to join the group. Luca told the young man the great secret of Island of Inventions and of how to assure that someday they would receive an invitation. Surprised, the young inventors interrupt Luca. What? You mean that isn't real the Island of in Inventions? Isn't the letter you sent me the real invitation? And as old as he was, Luca looked around him and realized that his dream had become true in his very own house. He realized that no island could exist which would be better than where he was now. No place of inventions would be better than what he and his friends had created. Luca felt happy to know that he had always been on the island that he, and that his life of inventions and study had been a truly happy one. And that's the ending of the Island of Inventions.